Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast Special Edition Series. This is the fourth of 32 episodes previewing and predicting the 2022 NCAA Men's College Basketball Conference Tournaments. And this is going to be the Patriot League Tournament, which is going to be held at the campus sites of the um, hosting teams. And it should be a uh, fun tournament. Um, and it all begins on um, Tuesday, March 1st. Um, and your seedings for this tournament. Um, your one seed is Colgate, 20-11 and 11 on the season, 16-2 and two in conference play. Your two seed is Navy. 19 and 10 on the year, 12 and 6 in conference play. Your three seed is Boston University, 20 and 11 on the year, 11 and 7 in conference play. Your four seed is Lehigh, 12 and 18 on the year, 10 and 8 in conference play. Your five seed is Army, 9 and 9 on the year, and 15 and 15, or vice versa on that, 15 and 15 on the year, 9 and 9 in conference play. Your six seed is Loyola, Maryland, 14 and 15 on the year, 8 and 10 in conference play. Your seven seed is Holy Cross, nine and twenty one on the year, seven eleven in conference play. Your eight seed is Lafayette, ten and nineteen on the year, seven eleven in conference play. Your nine seed Bucknell, eight and twenty two on the year, five and thirteen in conference play. And your ten seed is American, nine and twenty one on the season, and five and thirteen in conference play. All right, to the tournament we go. Tuesday, March first, we have the first round. Ten seed American at seven seed Holy Cross. Um, I feel like Americans a team that underachieved this season, especially in conference play. Um, two guys averaging in double digit points per game, led by Stacy Beckton Jr. and Holy Cross. Um, I think it's overachieved, especially in conference play this season. And um. They're led by Gerald Gates, averaging about 16 a game. So that's pretty neat for them. My projections for this game, Holy Cross as a one-point favorite, total of 134 and 85 hundredths. And Holy Cross, I think, will move on courtesy of home field advantage here. And the second of the two first-round games, 19 to Bucknell at 8 seeded Lafayette. Uh, Bucknell um, wasn't really supposed to be any good this year compared to what it was in the past. Um, they have a good scorer by the name of Andrew Funk, 17 and a half ish per game score. And then Lafayette, um, they have a nice little balance led by Neil Quinn. Projections here Lafayette by 3 and 3 eighths, so 144 and 55 hundredths. And therefore, I have Lafayette advancing to the quarterfinals as they would take on number one, Colgate. Um, Colgate, the best team in the conference this season. Um, very balanced team here. Led by Tucker Richardson, Nellie Cummings, who led them in scoring this year, Jack Ferguson, Ryan Moffitt, and... Keegan Richards, that's a nice little five sum they have there. They could like go small with those guys and play records on the at the center position. Um, I have Colgate as a whopping seventeen and a half point favorite, so therefore Colgate would move on. And then seven seeded Holy Cross at number two seeded Navy. Um, Navy, I felt like overachieved the season. Uh. Led by John Carter Jr., I project Navy as a 13 half point favorite. Therefore, I have Navy advancing. Six-seeded Loyola Maryland against three-seeded Boston University. Loyola um, this season, um, they have one of the good scores in the conference in Cam Spencer. And BU this season, uh, they've had a good year so far for them by their standards. Two really good scores in Javante McCoy and... Sukmail Mathon. 
I project BU as a nine and three quarter point favorite total of one thirty four and nine tenths. So I think the duo of Mathen and McCoy will boost BU to the semifinals. And then we have five seated Army and four seated Lehigh. Army little mediocre. Um they're led by a fabulous score by the name of Jalen Rucker. Sophomore guard. Maybe he's a breakout guy in the conference next year as like a candidate for Patriot League Player of the Year. And then four seated Lehigh um overachieved, I felt, this season. Um three scores in double digits, led by Evan Taylor. My projection with Levi at home, I have Army slated as a two and a quarter favorite in the total of one thirty nine and six tenths. So therefore I have Army advancing to the semifinal. And then Army would take on Colgate, as I would project Colgate as a seven and seven eighths favorite. They have a Fab Five there that I really, really like with Cummings, Richardson, Furman, or Cummings, Richardson, Ferguson, Moffat, and Red Records. I think that they'll move on to the championship. The other semifinal match, BU at Navy. Um, two very solid teams. Um, we talked about BU's duo, and Navy has Carter Jr. Um, I project Navy by two and a half, but that's based on the home court thing, and I think Carter will lead Navy here to the championship. And then it would be on March 9th, two-seated Navy and one-seated Colgate for the title. Um... I just feel that Colgate was miles in a way the best team in the Patriot this season. Um, I have them slated as a four-point favorite over Navy here. Led by their Fat Five that I've discussed all podcast long. I have them advancing to the big dance. Representing the Patriot League. And for conference tournaments... Odds. They do have odds. Colgate's a big favorite at minus 210, and they deserve to be it. But if I had a backup option to go with as a uh, long shot here, I would probably go with the team that has an elite score in the conference. With Loyola Maryland, with Cam Spencer. They are 18-1 to 1 to win this tournament. So if I go with the long shot pick, I'd go with them. But I do think that Colgate, and deservingly favored, will move on to the big dance. Alrighty. Next up, to preview and predict, the Big South Tournament. Which should be a lot of fun.